Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this video I am once again participating in the Same Six Wednesday collaboration that is hosted by Tanya McGuire. And I hope by now you are familiar with this, but if by any chance this is your first time checking out one of our Same Six Wednesday videos, uh, basically what it is is that six of us have sent each other six items and each month we will be working with a different person's items and we will all have the same six items but of course each of us will have our own take on what we do with them and for the month of april we are using the items that i sent so it's been a while <laughs> so these items are almost new to me also but let me show you what i sent okay so i just wrote april here because that's how i've organized all of our things that were sent to us um, now everybody else also got a little envelope that I made out of, um, what do you call it? Wallpaper. Um, I don't have one of those for myself, but that's not part of the six items anyway. I just mentioned that because some of them might want to use that as well. Cause you know, sometimes like I like to use the envelopes and things like that. Okay. So actually the coin envelope again, is not part of the six items, but what's in here is, and it is a little button of a hummingbird. I think each person got a different kind of bird, but they're all little buttons. So that is one thing. Then we also have a little vintage uh, flash card. I thought these were really cute. I picked up um, a while ago. And then this beautiful napkin. I just thought it was too cute and had so many things going on that, you know, there's a lot of things you could do with it. Yeah, so many nice pieces to it. It's got like seed packets and then these flowers and like a dictionary page and some writing. It's like really, really cute napkins. So um, I think I thrifted this napkin. So I sent all the ladies one of those. So that's one, two, three items. Then a piece of, this is like um, a upholstery uh, sample. And so I got my hands on a, a little book of upholstery samples and they're small like this and they're pinked all around and have like this paper backing. Um, and everybody got, a, I believe, a shade of like white or beige. So there's that. And then a piece of wallpaper. It's one of my favorite things to craft with. And then this sari silk. So this is actually sari silk. It was given to me a while back. And I sent everybody a little piece about this big. So um, those are my items. Um, since I don't have an envelope to use as a base, which is usually what I like to do, I'm actually going to use the envelope that I got last month from Lori because I really didn't do anything with it. Or maybe I can use... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do first is take this piece because it's the most hole right and I'm just going to cut around with scissors nothing fancy I'm just going to basically cut the whole edge around let me pull up a little bit so you can see and I think also this month I will be using some of the little leftovers from previous months um that is one thing I like to do is keep the items that were that you know I didn't use and then I have them available to play with if I choose to and because what I'm thinking about is that napkin um, I'm thinking it'd be nice to have a background okay there's a nice solid page now I already have kind of like a center spread but that's okay I, I can work that out later uh, so again it's not perfectly cut or anything i'm not worried about that it's a little ink blot there okay so i think what i want to do is i want to first play with this lovely napkin and let's see how much of it i want it's kind of really lot I like this don't necessarily like it twisted that way I might actually wanted it want it like this so okay one of the things that I have been told is I have a little water brush I have water in it I have a water brush here with water in it I know somewhere 
Let's see. Yeah, there's water in this one. If you paint around your napkin with a water brush, you can get um, a cut around your design a little bit easier. So I'm going to cut around this rose by first just wetting around it like this. Let's see, I haven't done this in a while. But I think it should work really well. Okay, so now I'm just going to rip apart or all that. Yeah, oh, that works nicely. That way I can get really close to the, the rose, which is what I want to use right now. Okay. That works out really well. I haven't done this very often, but I've seen it done. <laughs> okay, look at that. Now I have that, that I can glue down here. Okay, yep, yeah. or wherever. All right, I don't know, 100% sure where I'm gonna put it, but I think I also want this seed packet. Okay, my water brush. Okay. So, yep, beautiful. Ah, must not have gotten water there. Okay. I do see water here. Okay, so I got this seed packet. For some reason, I want this seed packet right here. Okay, I love all the other stuff too, but I think right now I just want to work with this. And what I was going to say, or what I said about using previous things I've saved these this in this little bag some of the things I got in the previous months and um, I remember that let's see I still had little pieces of this vintage um, work basket page and I was thinking maybe I could just collage oh these little images from Lisa's um envelope were nice too but I want to get all of the like book page ish type things out and I just wanted to make a background behind the rows here you know maybe even see I want to save this because I might want to use this at another time and I want to save this bird for another time so I'm thinking maybe this script here I can glue it behind as a background for my rose okay yeah so let me grab this because I do want to ink it as well let me do the vintage photo so it's kind of like a lighter let me rip this edge too Okay, so I'm going to be using glue stick for this. And I heard Gail Agostinelli talk about her YooHoo glue stick. So I went ahead and kind of splurged and bought some. And I think it's working out really well. So I just want, see, there's already writing kind of like behind here, but I kind of wanted to see writing behind the rose itself. So that's what I'm kind of doing. Okay. So I'm going to glue here, kind of a little, a little slanted one way, and then here, slanted the other way, like that. And then I'm going to just glue on top of here, where the rose should glue down course and the extra glow around but that's okay okay let's see there we go and that works 
and I'm just very lightly going over it. I don't want it to get messed up. And I'm not going to go on top of it at all. I'm just leaving it like that kind of dry. I like the look of that. All right. Oh, my goodness. I glued it on the wrong paper. <laughs> I meant to do it on here, and I did it on this one. Well, I guess this is what I'm working on now, which is okay because it's got all of this distressing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay that's okay like i said it already has some distressing so it'll probably you know work out better than than i than what i had planned okay so for this um did i want something in the background for here too maybe i'll just go ahead and use this is kind of cut too perfectly for me i'll try to do that um uh, that's all right so I'm just going to put my glue down and glue this here. Okay. And then, yeah, see, this is mainly flowers. I don't necessarily want it over everything. So, okay. Ah, I feel so silly when they make mistakes like that, but hey. It's part of the process. Sometimes you make a mistake and it turns out better than what you had planned, right? So we'll see. We'll see if that happens here. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. So, so far I've used <laughs> just the nap. Okay, what else? Okay, let's see. I love this ribbon. You know what? Uh, I think I want to use this kind of as a trim. Do I have enough to go over the top and the bottom? I think I do. I think I do. And you know what? I think even the Yoohoo glue will work. I'm just going to use that in the background now. Do it this way since, uh, okay. So I'm just going, you know, no, no, I'm not going to use the, I'm going to use the glitter glue because I know that this will work. And I'll just put a little tiny thin bead or line of glue here. And I'm just going to stretch the sari out a little bit like this. It's okay if it wrinkles a little bit afterwards, but I want it to glue down. Like I said, I don't care if it wrinkles after, but I do want one solid line glued down. There. And again, I wish I could just bring my sewing machine out, but it's going to be a little cumbersome for me to do that right now. So I'm just using the glue. I may come back later and sew on there. Okay, there we go. All right, so there's a thin bead of glue that is holding it down, but then the rest of it is kind of um, still wrinkly, which is fine. That's kind of how I want it. Okay. I have to fold this because I have not done this yet for this. Okay. All right. Yeah, I like that. Let me pull out a few threads. And I think I want to do the same thing at the bottom. Okay. A little thin bead. Da, 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 da. And let me just say that when I sent these items, I just thought they were cool items. I did not plan ahead of time at all what to do with them. Um, you know, I started getting some ideas, but I really didn't want to think about it too much until the time came, which is now. <laughs> so, um, okay. So again, around the middle... Just want to glue it down. Thin line right there. So that it's glued down really well. And straight across. There we go. So it's glued down straight across. But then if it wrinkles, that's fine. I want, I want it to kind of flow a little bit. Okay, there. 
there. Okay. And we cannot leave this. You know what? I think this will be a great little tag topper. So I'm thinking this. Let's see, what are we going to do with this? I think this would make a good tag. Maybe I'll use the back of this as the back of my tag. And I'm going to cut it down a little bit too. Okay. So I think the tag is going to be... Whew. Cut it almost too much there, but that's okay. I'm going to do it like that. And... that and I'm just cutting them together so then when I glue them that'll just you know match like that and this, this is the back nice okay so let me go ahead and glue this I can do with a glue stick oh and I just had another idea had another idea for another tag okay so that's just gonna get glued together there and then move over a little bit I didn't match it up perfectly. That's okay. I'm just going to trim it. Wish I'd been on the other side, but okay. Okay. I'm not going to worry about the top. Okay. All right. So that makes it a little bit sturdier. Gives it a... Um, you know, you could write, have written just on the back of the uh, wallpaper itself, but it is a little bit flimsy. So with this on the back, it makes it a little bit more sturdy. So I'm going to go ahead and ink around on both sides. You know what? But I'm going to use, because this is already a little dark, I'm going to use the espresso. It's a little darker. And unglued there okay and later 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 <laughs> maybe even after it's all done uh, I'll probably want to sew around this just to secure it but I don't, uh, just don't have time right now okay let's see and this makes such a pretty tag just like that without adding anything else to it however I want to add, I think I want to add this little fairy uh, or something from T uh, Lisa's previous. Yeah, I think I do. I think I do. I might want to fussy cut it a little bit better. Why? I don't know. Just think it deserves a little better. Contours. <laughs> okay. And again, this is not part of this month's, but I just went at it. You know what? With it sticking out here a little bit, I actually kind of like that. So because it's going to be going on wallpaper going to use the glitter glue. Okay. And it's going to be sticking out a little bit here. That's okay. That's okay. And I'm just going to staple going this way because it's kind of joined there. Staple this here. And when I staple, I like to make a little X with the staples like this. 
staple this way, and then staple that way, and see it makes a little X. Just, I think it looks a little bit more purposeful. <laughs> okay. There. Need a little something something on here, doesn't it? Maybe I'll add, oh, yeah, um, a little tuck spot here. I'm going to have to cut it thinner because I don't want to cover the mushroom. So I'm going to go over this way. I don't mind if it cuts that off a little bit there, but we're going to cut this piece off right here. There we go. So that's three items. Four items, actually, I've used so far. What do I have left? Ooh, that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me tell you what I'm thinking. I just remembered the little button, the little hummingbird button. I think she might be a nice little addition here. Um, hmm. So this is interesting. I did this page... But I don't want to cover this, obviously. I don't want to cover this. Um, but now I've made this lovely tag that has to go somewhere. I think it's going to end up getting clipped. Clipped maybe right here or here. Hmm. It's just going to end up getting clipped. And then this, I'm thinking, I mean, it's screaming fabric flip to me, right? This is already pinked all around. But then you can't see the flower. <gasps> okay, let me just keep going. Round off the corners here. Yeah, I know, I still can't find my corner rounder. So I'm doing it manually, really just eyeballing it. And, okay. And what do I have? Oh, where's my, my, my hummingbird? Oh, little birdie. Here you are. Okay, I'm thinking, oh yeah, look at that. She just goes perfect there. So I am going to rip off the um, the back because it's going to be a little too bumpy. And I'm just going to glue her down there. I don't have a cutter thing, so I'm just going to twist it off. There we go. Easy peasy. And I think glitter glue will actually hold it if I just let it sit there long enough. Even though the excess okay, I think it looks better with this yes look at that I like it and if it doesn't glue on I'll have to find what other glue do I have I have some tacky glue that'll work okay so I have one two three four five what I don't oh, six this is what I need okay so you know what I'm gonna do this is gonna be a fabric flip <gasps> Ooh, would it work as a fabric flip on the back? That might actually be interesting. I think I'm going to do that. Why not? And, okay, so in order to do that, I got to cut it off right here. Okay, cut it off right here. These are not the best scissors. I'm... Let me see. Oh, no. Actually, I think my little ones are going to work out better. Seems to be a little sharper. Okay. Okay. Check it out. And then you can flip here to right. Kind of makes it a little bit sturdier. I don't like how that's not straight there. All 
Okay, and I'm just going to glue this down. Oh, darn it, still not straight. That's all right. I'm just going to glue this down here. And then I'll also cover this ugly back of the staples here. Okay. There we go. And I probably should have done this before gluing it down. Frames the tag kind of nicely. Should cut a little too short. Or I could pull it down a little bit. It's all right. Okay, that's interesting. And I can also, hmm. I think I can put some napkin on here. Let's see. Do I want to try to put this beast on here? Why not? So here's what I'm going to do. I don't know if it's the best way to do it. I am going to glue up this entire thing. I don't think I've decoupaged onto fabric before or glued napkin onto fabric, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. Okay. Now, I'm going to see what fits on here. And now I'm going to come with this and cut. Rip the edge like that. I didn't want to cut it before because I wanted to make sure the whole fabric was covered least to the edges. Almost out of water, no? Water in here. Gotta squeeze. Gotta squeeze. Okay. And now I'm just gonna rip it off. I don't mind if some of the white sticks out. Okay. Just want it to all be glued on there. There we go. I know the top seems a little bit of icky to me. What can I put at the top there? Let me see, maybe I can add a little just just to cover this, you know. Yep. Good enough for me. Okay, and now this side, 100 page catalog. Yeah, I think that, that'll work. How to make it, how to use it. I don't want to pull up the napkin. Okay. All right. There we go. So that is the napkin glued onto the piece of fabric. Still ripping off the little edges here. It's fine. 
after it's dry, I might go in and ink this around too, but I don't want to do it right now because, you know, it's kind of wet. I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so this is an interesting tag, okay? It's got this in the back. So it's a two-sided tag, but then you can flip this up to right here, okay? And then the spread, I'm actually thinking this tag maybe could even go like this. Yeah, it could go like this on the spread, stick out a little bit. But then, you know, it could just kind of be tucked into the page like that. And I think I used all my items. Let's see, the napkin, the index card, um, flash card, wallpaper, sorry silk, hummingbird. What was my sixth item? Am I missing something? napkin oh and the fabric fabric yes so i've used all six items i have this spread which is kind of naked but it's something that i can fill in later on you know what actually <laughs> let's go ahead and stencil through it just to kind of make it feel a little bit more complete oh no 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 okay stencils are getting frisky with each other okay Let's um, do the vintage photo. So just a light stenciling back here. See how it's, yeah, it's showing up. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can kind of match it up a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I'd like it to be kind of continuous. Okay. I like that pattern. It's, you know, kind of like a trellis, right? And okay. And even over, over this mess here, I think it'll give it a little bit more continuity maybe or something. There we go. Yeah, there you go. I think that just finishes it off a little bit. Okay, so there's this, this here where I can add pictures, draw, I can add whatever I want to later on if I want to and then I have this tag which I totally love actually and that's the back the flip and I'm just going to tuck it over like that or is that tucking no that's uh folding it over I guess over the page okay so that is my same six Wednesday entry for April. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. And uh, uh, yeah, definitely watch everybody's videos. Uh, if you click on the very first one on each video, you'll go through all of them really quick. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.